Well, this is what happens when you let your wildflowers or your flowers just get out of hand. These flowers used to belong over here in the flower bed. Of course, the flower bed has quite a few flowers of their own. And you can see there's still some of those right there. And the rose is no longer a rose bush. It's a rose tree. It's as tall as the house. Well, as tall as the gutters. <laughs> it's a jungle back here. But all the bees are really, really enjoying a feast of late summer or uh, early fall. But they're able to still come and get some nectar for their hives. And look, check out the size of those flowers. Can you imagine them being that big? Those are just cool. Here's some more. Had to cut down the uh, these trees because they're all black midsummer, and now they're. They've come back just from since then. Here's some more of those flowers that are getting away. I like them. There's some more on this side. And our bougainvillea. First time we've gotten a bougainvillea to grow this big and flower. Very pretty. Those roses are just a killer. They're huge. Oh my goodness, they smell great. We were eating the rose petals. They're actually pretty sweet. They taste pretty good. Not bad. This guy's way down from the roses. They smell pretty though. And the esperanzas, they're seeding. They've never given off any flowers from those seeds or no growth. So they'll be cut down pretty soon. Looks like they finished flowering for the year. There's a couple. There's one there. The butterflies are out and about in our backyard. Still a little few more. This is our crop of um, pesto mix, whatever you call it. Can you smell it? Mmm. Look at all the seeds, though. Look at all those seeds. We'll have a, a bumper crop, 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 crop next year. Another tomato. Mm. That's so good off the bind. These guys giving up the ghost. Popped all the, a lot of the seeds have popped. I'm gonna cut them down. It's a pretty purple flower vine.
there's the orange tree that one of these days, hopefully, it will give fruit. Now, once that guy gives fruit, that's going to be a lot of oranges. Hmm. That rose petal and tomato didn't mix very well. Here's the other tomatoes. They dried up. They don't look too happy. But they're seeds for next year. And this guy over here, look at it. He's still got, he's just putting on some more flowers for some more fruit. Unbelievable. Some more herbs. Herb. Herb. Well, we've just taken a, a trip through the McFalls backyard. And this guy is really cool. I like the way it turned out. Right by our window. Nice, nice sound. Sounding one. It's not really cooking the sound. But bamboo. And then this guy up here. And this guy. He doesn't make much sound. Any. They're just pretty. All right, signing out from the backyard.